let's solve this equation. That's a minus 2. This should be a minus. Let's solve this equation for A. So the first thing that I always suggest kids do, and you might as well learn it young, this is an Algebra 1 problem, mm -hmm. is to clear fractions. Because mm -hmm. people have a lot, it's a lot easier to do solve a problem if you get rid of the fractions. And the way you do that is you multiply by the least common denominator. Okay. You, know, you can see, and sometimes that's hard for people to see, but definitely I don't need two nines, mm -hmm. but I need at least one nine to multiply through. Mm -hmm. I need, um, the six has already a three in it. Mm -hmm. This I'm sorry, this nine already has a three in it, so I don't need the three from the six, mm -hmm. but I do need both twos from the four. Four is mm -hmm. two times two. So my LCD is going to be nine times four. Okay. It's not a big deal if you accidentally multiply it by too mm -hmm. big of a number, because at the end you can, you can reduce it. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to multiply through everything by 9 times 4. In fact, I'm not even going to multiply 9 and 4 together. Okay. I'm just going to leave it as 9 times 4, and I'm going to distribute it into all of these. 9 and 4? 9 times 4. Okay. Yep, 9 times 4. I'm going to multiply by all of these. So let me just write that out so you can see what that's going to look like. It's going to be 9 times 4 here, 9 times 4 here. 9 times 4 here, and 9 times 4 here. Remember, they multiply on the numerator mm -hmm. because, after all, those are 9 times 4 over 1. And now, watch what happens. I'll turn, change my color. The 4s cancel out. Mm -hmm. And this is just now 9A. Okay. These 9s cancel out. So just 4. And that's just 4 times 4, which is 16, equals. These 9s cancel out. So seven times and that's four. just 7 times 4, which is 28. Now, this is a little bit trickier, but the 6 is going to cancel a 2 and a 3. You wrote 26. Sorry, what did I say? 28. 28. I was looking ahead. Sorry, 28. Thank you. Always always check your work. And then the 6 is going to cancel with this 4. It's going to cancel. A 2 is going to cancel out of that, mm -hmm. and a 3 is going to cancel out of that. So you're going to be left mm -hmm. with another 3 and another 2. Okay. So this is 6 times 5, which is 30A. Okay. Isn't that a much easier problem to deal mm -hmm. with now? And I didn't even have to add any fractions. I yeah. just cleared the fractions. Okay. Now, um, now I'm going to move all the A's to the left, mm -hmm. and I'm going to move all of the numbers, the constants, to the right. So add 30 to both sides. So that would be 39A equals. Now add 16 to both sides, mm -hmm. and you're going to get 44. Mm -hmm. 39A equals 44, which means A equals 44 over mm -hmm. 39. And now let's just see if we can reduce this, a little lesson in reducing. 44 is 4 times 11, or 2 times 2 times mm -hmm. 11. 39 is 3 times 13. There's nothing that I can cancel out of any of those. So your okay. answer is just going to be 44 over 39. Now let me teach you another trick. You can take your calculator, and you can store this store, use the store button, mm -hmm. store that in X, mm -hmm. and then type this equation in just like this on the left, but with an X instead of an A, mm -hmm. and then hit enter and remember what that decimal approximation is, and then do the same thing with this side of the equation. Type that in, being careful to type that in, and hit enter, and these two things should be equal to each other, and that's how you can check your answer. Okay.